beckoning and wooing her to fall in love with him. Does that make sense? Tony. Yes, it is the most philosophical of all the books of the Bible, I would say. Uh, one could say it is the, summer, the summary of human philosophy. Because you come to realize that there's nothing new under the sun. The writing of books is endless. Uh, fame, money, power, wisdom itself is pointless because we're all going to die. What's the point? The point is to remember God in your youth and to fear and love him. That's the point. And that's the message of the end of the song of Ecclesiastes. Yes? In one part, I like that you say, uh, the happy people is the people that die. Oh. And uh, the people that are born is not happy. But the happiest is the one that never born. Because they never see the wicked thing happen under the sun. And, and that's a key phrase in understanding and, and, and interpreting the Ecclesiastes, because a lot of people get off on that and they say, oh, you know, uh, the Bible says that all of this is pointless. Under the sun, anything that happens without God, if you just think about anything that happens on this earth without God, it's pointless, fruitless, and vain. But with God, that's why you have Proverbs. You learn to live rightly in this world, correctly, wisely. You just don't get attached to everything here because this isn't it. This isn't all there is. That's where the Song of Solomon comes in. The divine love that calls us in the midst of this vain, fruitless, pointless world is what gives us a reason for living. It gives us a point in which we can live all right, so this is the stepping stones. Yes, Chris. You have it right now. You, I gave you all a copy of all the questions. If you want to go into more depth, do it this week and talk to me about it next week. For future classes is what you mean? Oh, I see what you mean. Sure. I, I, I'll, I'll definitely put that into consideration. I will. All right. So now we've had a good introduction. Hope I've whet your appetite towards a lot. I hope you go home next this week, study up, come back with some more questions, and we'll begin with chapter one of the Song of Solomon. Yes. No, they're inspired by the Holy Spirit. Jesus never told them to write a thing. They did that afterwards. Yes, he wrote that after Jesus died. Uh -huh. Many years later. Yes. Yes, the whole Bible, from Moses to John. All right? Thank you, Chief. You're welcome. I know it was a little bit different, a little bit challenging, but that's what I want you to do. I want you to get in there, and I want you to wrestle with this.